Hello everyone. Today, I'll be showing you two ways to access Contact, the sample player software by Native Instruments within Reaper under Windows. Before getting started, we should clarify what Contact actually is. Contact is the industry leading sample player software by a developer called Native Instruments. Native Instruments is creating software for musicians since over 20 years by now. And that is why Contact is one of the first sample players out there ever. And is nowadays still the industry standard for sample player software, which can run directly within your DAW. A sample player is a software which allows you to load a so-called sampled instrument, which can be all kinds of different instruments which have been recorded by sound engineers and musicians. There are basically a lot of people included within the process. Native Instruments has a huge roster of libraries and instruments available of some of them I already created sample library reviews. For example, I created a review on Omnia, the choir library directly from Native Instruments. I also created a sample library review on CineStrings Core by a company called CineSamples, which is also a contact instrument. You can find the link to this review within the info card. Well, since Contact is one of the biggest sample players out there, it's really huge that we can access it at least a little bit. A few developers are creating their own sample players nowadays. Spitfire got their own nowadays. Orchestral tools created their own with Sign, but a lot of library developers are still using Contact today. For example, we've got Audio Imperia who are still using Contact. We've got Cine Samples who are still creating instruments for the contact environment. And since Native Instruments also provides the complete control package, which is basically a set of physical keyboards, MIDI keyboards, which can be combined with the plugin called Complete Control to allow you much easier access to your entire library of various instruments, previewing them, and so on and so forth. I will probably provide more videos on that topic. If you're interested, then let me know in the comment section below the video. But today we will be taking a look at how to use Contact without any complete control keyboard directly within Reaper under Windows. It is important to say that this video will only cover Windows here. I don't have a Mac OS system and I know that Mac OS is doing things totally different. I know that there are keyboard maestro scripts for using Contact and a Mac OS, but I don't know how to use them and what they can do and what they can't do. So if you are interested in checking out Contact on a Mac OS, drop me a comment below the video and I will make sure to find someone who can probably answer it. Before diving right in, on a Windows, you've got two ways of accessing Contact directly within Reaper. The first way we require you to use the screen reader NVDA. And you can only do this with NVDA. No way around it, but the obvious advantage, it runs directly within NVDA. You only need to install an add-on and afterwards you can just load your instrument and you're good to go. The other way is not free, but paid. It's a one-time payment of 30 bucks if you're happy with the product and can be found at accessformusic.com, link in the video description. And it's called Contact Access and is a dedicated script that runs in the background and allows you to click the various positions within the contact UI that you need to click in order to load instruments and do where there is other things like battery saving by just pressing various commands on the keyboard. This thing is not free, but it allows you to do more than just the NVDA add-on. So if you want to do more than just loading instruments, this script might be your way to go. But now let's show you real quick how it goes. We will just cover loading libraries today because all the other things can mostly be done via the parameters dialog that Osara provides to you. So by pressing P on the track that contacts loaded on and all the parameters differ from library to library. So we will just take a look at how to load contact instruments into Reaper. First, we need a track and we've got that here already. And now we need to instantiate contact on this. So press F. 
add FX to track one contact dialog filter. Here we go. Let's enter contact. K O N T A K T. And there we go. List one list. VST contact native instruments GMBH 64 out 1 of 3. VST 3i contact native instruments 64 out 2 of 3. VST 3i contact 7 native instruments 64 out 3 of 3. And that is a very important point. Native Instruments released Contact 7 a few months ago. Contact 7 is not yet accessible. Neither Access for Music nor LBL can so far access Contact 7. If you don't have Contact yet and you want to get it, don't buy just yet. Because Contact 6 cannot be purchased individually. If you now go ahead and purchase Contact, you will always get version 7. And version 7 is not yet accessible to us. If you, however, already own Contact 6 and you didn't purchase the upgrade, then you're good to go and you can still go ahead with Contact 6 because all that is accessible for us is Contact 6 by now. LBL updates and access for music reworks are already in progress. So as soon as we get updates to support Contact 7, I will let you know in the community tab on this channel. So stay tuned and keep your eyes open for that to come. Now we will instantiate contact six here. VST 3i, contact native instruments, 64 out, two or three. There we go, let's instantiate that. FX, track one contact dialogue, list one list, VST 3i, contact native instruments, 64 out, one of one. Okay, method one of accessing contact within Reaper natively via NVDA is the LBL add-on which you can find a link to in the video description. And all you need to do in order to use that is press F6 now. LBL contact. And press tab a few times. Add library button. Add library is not what we want. Load button. But we want load. And as soon as you hit that with enter. Load instrument. Load patch dialog data name. Data name. Combo box collapsed. Edit alt plus end blank. It basically takes some time, but afterwards we will get a usual file selection dialog which allows us to load the various contact instruments. NKI files, which are native contact instruments, and NKSN files, for example, which are native contact snapshots. Just open them, they will load in contact, and you can just start playing them by your MIDI keyboard or the virtual keyboard or whichever way you like most. That's really all there is to it. Add library, the button before load library, right? Doesn't work. It's meant to open Native Access, which is the software by Native Instruments, which allows you to register your libraries. So you can just open Native Access directly. Just ignore that button and continue to load. Hit that and you can load your instruments. The other way of accessing things works through Contact Access. The current version is 3.5 and is the version that supports Contact 6. There's also a version 2.5, which is meant to support Contact 5, if I'm not wrong. So if you're still working with Contact 5, you can also grab access for music and we still get support there. The script that I'm using right now comes in two versions. It comes in a free trial version, which just supports two or three things. And it comes in the paid version, as I already said, for the one-time payment, which allows you to do more things like switch snapshots on the fly or batch resave, which is something that I could definitely discuss in a different video because it drastically improves the performance of your contact libraries. So that's something that you should do from time to time. And if you're interested why, what it does and how you can do it, then write a comment in the comment section below the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like below the video, you know, all the usual stuff that you do with a YouTube video nowadays. I've loaded the contact access 3.5 version, the full version, the paid version here. And all we need to do now is press F6 again to get into the contact window. LBL contact. And as you have already noticed, we still have LBL loaded, but that's not a problem. They can easily exist next to each other. So you can have the LBL add-on installed in a case you want to do things that LBL cannot do, but a contact access can do. Not a problem. You can just have both running at the same time. Now, what you need to do after you've launched the contact access 3.5.exe file, it will say contact access ready and it will run in the background until you terminate it. You just need to press Control Alt L here. Load patch dialog data name, data name, combo box collapsed, edit alt plus end blank. And you will basically get the same dialog that you would get if you clicked LBL on load. 
and it is as easy as that. These are the two ways of quickly loading a sample library within contact directly in Reaper without using complete control. Here's the conclusion once again. The NVDA add-on LBL is free and allows you to do the most basic things with contact and also contains various other plugin support like Easy Drummer or Addictive Drummer, for example. So that is something that you should definitely check out. It's free, it gets updates now and then, and it's really, really helpful. On the other hand, it doesn't support as many features as Contact Access, for example, which then again is paid. It's a one-time payment. A guy called Gianluca and his friend from Italy are creating this script and maintaining it and are probably going to release an update soon to further support Contact 7, which just came out and is the future contact version that Native Instrument will be supporting for the next few years. Personally, I got both of them, as I obviously have shown to you. ABA is free, no downside scan that one. And as soon as you want to dive deeper into the entire virtual instrument universe and are not going to stay away from the Native Instruments side of things, which I can somewhat recommend, there's probably <laughs> an entire video coming up at some point where I discuss the pros and cons of native instruments. But for now, there are a lot of instrument types which are basically not synthetic instruments, which you can more or less only find within the native instruments universe. So you will probably have to get around contact at some point. And if that point comes up, you'd probably better get in touch with Access for Music and see if contact access is something for you. Just check out the website. You can get the free demo version, which just contains two or three useful commands, but you can give it a try and see if it's something for you or not. Thanks for watching this video. As usual, it was a pleasure doing this for you. And until next time, if you've got any questions, just write them into the comment box and I will get back to you. Follow me on Twitter, send me a direct message, whichever way you like most. Thanks for watching the video. Bye-bye.